resolution of parking payments method. I think this one's really straightforward. I'm happy to move it. Sam seconds. <laughs> Any questions? Uh, really? <laughs> Can, um, just, I, mate, I was just. I was, oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I just wondered why the council can't be involved in the council buildings, parking buildings can't be involved in this. So the, it, so the trial. Yes. Yep. So the trial. So we've um, identified that we need to do a trial, and yes, the, sorry, purpose of, the purpose of the purpose of doing a trial was to ensure that we could check that it works fully, but also it's the best way for us to integrate a new technological system, I guess, with our existing parking meter systems. So the app provider is working fully with the um, meter provider so that the process for parkers and for our um, compliance team is consistent with what we have currently. So basically you want to kind of iron out any glitches perhaps before it's... Well additionally we have um, different providers within our parking buildings. And different technology and different well. technology. Yeah. So we have definitely ensured that um, our trial provider is able to work with our various technologies but we want to ensure that it works out on the streets, I guess, before we yeah. introduce it more widely, potentially. Yeah. Okay, one other que quick question. We, we, we have so much of uh, great technology happening in the city and so much information that people can access, but I find that a lot of people don't know that it's there. What are your thoughts in terms of how do we communicate uh, this and roll it out in a way that people will know about it and be able to access it? Um, well, we have got a plan <laughs> in terms of how we communicate and share it, um, and I think you know advertising and using our um, current avenues that we that we use for um, promoting new initiatives. We'll be using all of those, but equally we'll be ensuring that um, our um, compliance officers. <laughs> Uh, encouraging people to use it and we'd also yeah encourage councillors and um, obviously ourselves our staff will be sharing the information in terms of its availability great so you'll have staff people on the on the ground kind of thing that mm -hmm. people can ask and talk to and and get help from if they need, mm -hmm. need it yeah yep. yep and additionally um there will be um stickers on the meters which people will be able to visually see that it's available as well um, and they can get information. Thank you. Yanni? Thank you. I was quite interested why this would cost $10,000 and also um, the people that provide the app, do they get a percentage of the parking fee or does the customer have to pay you know, 50 cents to use the app every time they park? Um, it is part of um, exploring the market. <laughs> um, we needed to look at, at the, the cost. Um, $10,000 is actually ex extremely good value. Um, basically, we are, um, our pro the provider is able to assist us with putting it in place at a significantly reduced cost compared with um, all the other councils that are currently using apps like this. Um, the provider themselves will be getting um, a transaction fee which is equivalent to a 50 cent charge that we currently have on our meters, but through the credit card payment. Have we got any figures about how much, like, Vodafone, I think it is it Vodafone that gets the money off the parking meters at the moment, or what the anticipated revenue is for the people that use the app. 
like what's the projection in terms of how much money those companies are getting from our on street parking? No, I don't think so. Um, uh, I mean, uh, that's going to be depending on how much uptake there is, I suppose. So, um, like I said, we're doing a, 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 a trial just to see how successful it is and see what the demand is, um, and um, part of that be linked to how much it's used. You must have some idea with the current regime how much the people are, are clipping the ticket and how much money they're making from it. Um, yeah, well, we could we could find that. We don't. I don't have the information at hand, but right. yeah. Is, is there any chance for us, like, to, like, you would think if we were, I mean, if we go to an app, you would think the cost of transaction should be significantly less than the cost of sending a text message or, you know, even with changes to banking fees. Yeah, yeah I need that this is a trial, so yeah. we'll get a lot of data and information back. Well, from so the when do we trial. get, how do we and, get and a say in how much? People are still able to use cash and I have to pay mm. a transaction fee or an app fee, so. Well, actually, you find a, it's are there any other questions? So just in terms of the transaction fee, who, who gets to set how much that is and, and how do we get a say in that as council at government? Okay, I'll just, this, is, this is a trial, so I'm sure we'll get a lot of information back from the trial. Is there any other questions? All right. Any, oh, we moved to, any debate? Yanni? So I just think, um, personally, I find it abhorrent that these companies make huge amounts per transaction for people going to park. If people want to park for less than an hour, they're paying a huge percentage of their parking fee in the transactional cost. And I just don't think that these costs can be justified. So I actually am not going to support this today. I think $10,000 is a huge amount of money. And then the company is going to be making a whole bunch of profit off a very low cost transaction for someone to download an app, have it on their phone, use their data to pay for it. I cannot understand why, why that company should get 50 cents off every transaction, um, especially if we're paying to use this app as a city. So I won't support this today. I think we need much more financial transparency over how these things are being worked out and who's profiting off, off them. But I think we want people coming into our city and to have people paying additional charges to pay to use the parking meters is not something I'll support. Since we're in debate, um, let's debate it. I'm pretty sure you can still use cash. Mm -hmm. So just bring that thing called, I know Jamie's got none, but it's called money, <laughs> he's too young. But he told me last time, he goes, who carries cash? What a heathen. Um, but the, uh, yeah, you can carry, yeah, old timers like James can bring coins. Yeah. Um, so just, Yanni, I'd do a Facebook post and encourage people to still bring coins to town. They'll be welcome. We'll take them. All those in favour? Uh, Gangst? Kerry. Uh, <laughs> Do you want that recorded, Johnny?